Okay, thanks for joining me again. Um, I'm going to do a quick gear review for you. I uh, went over yesterday on the fact that I had a new pair of boots that I was trying out, getting ready for um, elk season. Uh, September comes around the end of September. Going into October, I'm going to Colorado for an over-the-counter elk hunt uh, for two weeks. If I get lucky enough and draw a mule deer tag, I'm going to be hunting that also. So the boots that I have here, you know, the normal knee-high rubber boot, is not exactly what I want to use out in Colorado. Uh, climbed up and down the mountains at 10,000 feet. So I do have a pair of Rockies that are, I think, 800 gram. Uh, they're also heavy, which is good around here, especially when it gets cold. But um, so I'm, I went with a uh, different reviews. I've looked up, um, and I'm sure there's a lot of people out there like you. That's why I'm doing this, is the fact that you have all these boots that you can choose from you know crispy that are 250 bucks you got the Zamerlin's you've got um, just a wide variety of boots that are good for out west the problem is is here on the east coast they're not realistic for us uh, um, we don't need something to uh, be aggressive up and down eight nine thousand feet uh, for around here we're used to wearing our knee-high rubber boots and going in and out so Long story short, I did a lot of lot of research. Uh, I wanted to get a boot that I can actually use around here for hiking, but at the same time not break the bank. Uh, let's face it, we're you know a lot of us are true working people. Uh, we work hard for our money, so it's hard for us to just go out and buy a pair of two hundred fifty dollar boots if we're not really going to use them that much for what those are meant for. So I did some reviews. Uh, I read a lot. Google. Google is your friend when it comes to doing uh, research on stuff. So I did the research on the Irish Setters, um, the Vapor Trek. I got, um, you just get so many, you get so overloaded with all the reviews, you're not sure what is, is true and what is just a bad shoe. Or maybe someone just, their taste is different. Not that someone is wrong, but their taste is just different. So... I went, tried on the Irish Setters. I, I tried on a bunch of boots. I tried on Cabela's Brands. I tried on the Rockies. I tried on Irish Setters. Um, there was another brand I tried on that, that was a pretty decent, all oh, Danner. Um, the Danner for me was narrow and it hurt my feet. I actually bought a pair of them, didn't like them, found somebody else that loved them, and uh, I sold, it to, sold them to them. So uh, I only, it only took me six miles to figure out I didn't like those boots. So, with that said, the Irish Setter, um, Vapor Trek, it's, the, it's their new one that came out. They, um, this is a good boot. I mean, I had on yesterday in the, uh, in the rain. If you go uh, to um, the video before this, I did episode one. It was, uh, it's called Minerals in the Rain because, as you can see, as you watch it, it poured the rain on me. Yeah, I mean, when I say it poured, it poured. You'll see see the video. So, and I was back in mile and a half, two miles away from the vehicle, uh, making a mineral site, uh, freshing up a uh, scrape site, and uh, putting batteries and checking the trail camera. But uh, so the boots, the boots held up very well so far. Uh, a lot of people's complaints were they're too narrow, and a lot of complaints were they feet got wet. I am here to tell you that I normally wear a wide boot. This isn't too narrow for my foot. Uh, the biggest thing is I was in the rain. I was in downpouring rain. I was walking through water and my feet never got wet. So maybe I'm just lucky. Uh, these boots probably have about 50 miles, 75 miles on them so far. Uh, don't, and again, I don't have complaints. They, they're a good boot. Um, Irish Setters always made a good boot. I've, I've owned only one other pair of those, but um, these, uh, they have the scent band in them. They're a great boot. They work well. They grip well. Uh, I do a lot of hiking with these, getting ready for season, whether it's elk or deer. Um, I try to stay in shape as much as possible. Uh, I do a lot of hiking. Um, put my 18-month-old son on my back. He's about 30 pounds with a carrier and uh, and we'll hike about 10 miles every day 
with these boots um, up and down the mountains and uh, don't have a problem. So really like the boot. I think the boot is uh, something if someone's looking for a boot that is like a tennis shoe that doesn't need a break in that is good for traction. This is a good boot. Now again, they, they work for me as far as waterproofing goes. I know there was a lot of complaints that uh, they weren't. I, I can't uh, I can't say that I had that problem. So with that, um, good luck. I hope you you like this review on on the boots. If you have any questions, leave a message below. I'll answer it. Um, I'm going to do some more reviews here, so keep an eye out. I'm going to do a review on the Tacticam 5.0 wide that I filmed uh, all day yesterday with um, in the rain and, and how it turned out for you. And again, go watch that video. Anyway, stay tuned and uh, thank you again for, for watching the video. And if it helped you, give a thumbs up. Have a good day.